Ugh, this is a test to make sure my microphone can record things and I don't throw off. Today, you're gonna learn how to do the day to night effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Now, in theory, this is really easy to do. In the most simplest of terms, we have to remove the sky, track in a new sky, and then color grade things. But while it may seem simple, it can be incredibly difficult. If your sky is not one flat color like this, well, you're gonna have to do some rotoscoping. But if your sky is flat like this, well, tracking is going to be a little bit more difficult. With that in mind, I'm going to show you how I approach doing this shot. So the first thing we need to do is duplicate our clip. I'm going to hold a left alt, left click, drag it over to the right, and I'm going to drop in the night sky background I'm going to use. While we're hovering over the duplicated clip, we're going to go over to the color page, and then with that sky background, we're gonna right click it, shop match to this clip, bam. The hardest part of the color grade has just been done. We can now layer the clips. So I'm going to bump this up, uh, do that, do this. So our sky is in the background and then we have our two video clips. Now highlight everything, right click, new fusion clip and you know the deal head on over into fusion so let's just label these media nodes if i select it and hit one on my keyboard you can bring it over to this first viewer window and that's the sky so i'm gonna hit f2 and relabel this night sky okay so delete this merge node we need the raw video over here gonna rearrange it something like this now let's find where we can see this sky here it is so I'm gonna hit shift space to bring up the select tool page and you're gonna type in keyer you can use the other ones but for this tutorial we're using HSL we're also going to bring in a background node so you can just click that gets automatically added in and then hit control T to swap the inputs around now we're on the foreground element and our background is actually on the background with the background we're gonna change it to let's just just do red now with merge one we're gonna select that hit two on our keyboard HSL key here we're gonna hit one on our keyboard and then we're gonna go up here and just click this color button so we have this uh, this okay let's key out the sky we're gonna select the eyedropper tool and then just click and drag a little bit here to make sure we select all of the sky now the window to the left any gray tones those are transparent so we, we get a little bit of that right here and the reason why we added the background node is so we can easily see any pinholes like here and here and even up here you'll also notice we got some pinholes around here and that's not good so we got to fix that head on over into the map finesse and we can adjust all these settings it might not be perfect but if we zoom out um it's gonna be really hard to tell that it's not perfect anyways what we can do is delete the merge node delete that i'm going to uh select media out one so we have our video and then i'm gonna plug in the hsl gear to the uh, blue arrow of the night video bam sky's gone it, uh but we also have some pinholes like like down here remember we we still didn't get rid of those don't worry though because it's a simple fix all we have to do is duplicate this night sky video connect it to this merge so another node uh, merge node uh, gets connected grab a uh, polygon node connect that the, the the that arrow and then you just you just outline stuff like this and and there oh uh well okay you know what we'll do this and then we can do this there we go and now that's perfect except not really because this up here is not looking so good the ui so to fix that we're gonna drop in another polygon node and we're gonna hit one on our keyboard for the the raw video and just click the color thingy my bob again so now we can see this we select uh the second polygon node and then we can just outline this doesn't have to be perfect but you know what showing that uh extra bit of effort that's that's what sells effects and we're trying to open up shop and sell stuff to people because we're business folk anyways there you go now now we're we're like we're perfect except not really because look our sky isn't tracked in so 
we're screwed end of video goodbye i'm just kidding what we can do let's duplicate the raw video um copy paste there we go bring that in there and then that over there we're gonna hit shift space and type in tracker and we're gonna uh, put this somewhere that stays in frame for the most part i, th I think it's right here we're gonna uh, switch this to best match bring that down to about 0.5 and then just track forwards and backwards oh my god what is happening i'll tell you what's happening I wasn't uh, on the tracker node, so hit two on your keyboard while the tracker is selected, and you can see it gets messed up, but that's not a big deal because we just have to track a couple of frames by hand, and I'm going to show you how to do that, so I'm just going to go here, open up spline, uh, show only selected, click this, do that, so, uh, ooh, select all these, and then just delete all of them because all those tracking points are bad. But, uh, but we got to track backwards. So let's track backwards. Okay, so let's copy this night sky background. We're gonna plug it in up here, connect it to the green arrow. And in our tracker, we're gonna switch the operation from none to match move. <laughs> hey, it's the sky all, all tracked in sort of. We gotta do a couple frames by hand though. So in the tracker, we're gonna bring our blend down, put a little space here. We're gonna add a text node and let's just say hello. Uh, we got to add in a transform node. I'm going to bring this up right here, kind of line these up, this corner to that corner, right? And then we're going to add a keyframe, move a couple frames over. You just learned how to track things by hand. Okay, before we continue, let's just make sure that the sky actually stays on the sky area. It's looking pretty good. Nice. Okay, so now what we can do is go back into the tracker, turn our blend all the way back up, uh, <laughs> turn off this merge, highlight everything and just bring it on over here and then we'll take the output of the tracker connect it to the output of the night sky boom merge node if we select media out one uh hit two on your keyboard and look at this the sky is tracked in sort of now i say sort of because it's actually tracked to this wall and not the sky so the distance is closer this is going to move a lot more than what the sky would be normally moving so to fix that what we could do is go into the merge and just make this smaller that's pretty much it um you just want to make sure your guy doesn't get seen on the other sides all right so yeah like that's that's pretty much it um you could call it quits here or you could start doing some color grading and you just color grade it like any other clip by the way i have a video about color grading if you want to check that out anyways that's how you do the day to night uh, effect goodbye